Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a review for a figure that I just got in. This is Blitzway's Hannibal Lecter from the Silence of the Lambs. This is the uh, Prism White uniform version. <clears throat> and uh, it, here's the box that it comes in, which is nicely done um, as, as usual. Uh, Blitzway does really, really good work with their figures. Uh, there's a little bit of delay with this guy, but uh, packaging looks good. I also want to compliment them real quick on they actually use plastic corners on the uh, for the shipping box to protect the uh, the box, and I thought that's really really badass. It's a nice extra that they do to go the extra mile and make sure that you get something shipped to you that's um, in pristine condition. So uh, let's open them up and take a look inside. Here are the two trays that come out of the box. Everything's packaged nice. There's lots of accessories here. So let's go ahead and take them out of the packaging. All right, so the first tray, uh, we have Hannibal, of course. We'll look at him in a second. Uh, it comes with a, feels like a plastic uh, baton, um, but that's nice, nicely done. Uh, it comes with a pocket knife, let's see, which opens up. Uh, it does feel like the blade is plastic on this, but it still, it looks metal and uh, it's, it's nicely done. Blitzway just does such a great job with their stuff. <clears throat> it comes with a pen. Uh, this is actually my second uh, set of Blitzway figures. I have the uh, four pack of the Ghostbusters, which are incredible pieces too. And uh, here are the cuffs that it comes with. And these are all metal, by the way. And um, they actually open up, uh, which is cool. So there are the cuffs, and let's take a look at Hannibal. Now there's been talk online, there's been some photos shown about paint app issues with uh, his head sculpt, but mine looks great. <clears throat> um, as far as what's on camera right now, it's pretty close to what I'm seeing um, live, but you can tell like it's just very well done. I'm happy with the uh, sculpt and the paint app. Uh, all look very, very nice. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate them around here for you. <clears throat> Sorry for the rushed review. Uh, I've been sick, so <clears throat> please forgive me. Here's a close shot of the face. Come down here to the body. It's all well done. There's a uh, padding in here for his torso. The pants are nice. This is typical uh, six scale um, figure as far as uh, as far as uh, articulation and things are concerned. But here are the shoes. <clears throat> Come back around here, to the back side. It all looks very nice. It's all nicely done. the The shirt doesn't tuck in too far. I'm finding myself having to like tuck it in and futz with it a little bit. The interesting thing about this figure is um, is that the arms are magnetic. So it just pops off, and there's a little add-in in there. Get it up and focus. And uh, you can see there, and it just uh, just pops right off. It's super easy. Um, I think somebody had some trouble with theirs getting their arms off, but so far so good. And uh, so that's about the only thing special about him versus a standard six-scale figure. And I love that because the sculpted arms look great. So let's look at the rest of them. All right, so this is what you get in the bottom part of the packaging. Of course, the standard Blitzway figure stand, which this opens up and you can fit uh, these rods in here. I mean, you have two different ways of holding them, um, which I, I really like. You can go underneath or you can go around the waist. Uh, a lot of people don't like Blitzway stands, but I am one that actually likes them. I'm not gonna use that um, on this guy though because he's got this chair and I love this chair so this is what we're gonna use. Let's get a close shot of the chair. Which is uh, plastic but it's it's well done. It has a good fake wood look to it. Let me come back around through here. It's nice. It swivels and it's uh, on casters but the casters do not roll. 
looks very nice. So very happy with the chair. <clears throat> Here is his baton arm. And uh, again, it's well done. And I like the, the magnet feature. Um, it's a positive engagement. You can see like details in the veining in there. They got a little bit of coloring in there, which looks nice. But it makes things, swapping parts out a lot easier. <clears throat> There's some uh, Hot Toys figures that I've had to wrestle arms off, off of, like Anakin, to try to get to swap out arms. So this, I'm looking forward to this. And here are the uh, folded hands. Let me get a close shot of the sculpt here. Well done. Very well done. Vein work. I just love all the details, <clears throat> which we should expect, you know, for figures like this, but it's still nice. There's a lot of companies that kind of short you on stuff, but Blitzway just does such a nice job with these things. I'm definitely a fan. And then finally, it comes with the carpet. And, uh, it's a nice material. I'm not really sure what it's made out of, but it's not paper. It's, uh, it's got a nice feel to it, and it's thick. And uh, it's also double-sided, which is kick-ass. <clears throat> the only complaint would be, and it's a minor nitpick, is that it comes rolled up, so you kind of have to, like, you know, Bend it back the other way to get things to flatten out properly. But it's a, again a minor complaint. So let's get them set up. See what it looks like. While I have everything out of the box, parts I'm not going to use, um, I'm just going to go ahead and fit the baton arm in there. And it fits in there just fine. No issue swapping out arms at all. This guy, but we're not going to use this guy. We're going to use the other arms. We're going to do the folded hands and then chair. Before I get started on setting them up, I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, <clears throat> it also comes with uh, some of these pieces too, which is really kick-ass. So it comes with a drawing, and uh, it comes with a Sansa Lance poster. Of course, um, it <clears throat> explains about the multi-stand um, and, and the different ways that you can use it. And again, like, I love this thing. I know it's maybe not the best stand, but you know it's a free included stand. Um, 3 zero doesn't even include stands, so I, mean, I don't feel like we should complain too much about this one. <clears throat> and then this is a uh, pamphlet that they include to kind of go over how to set them up. And I'll just kind of scroll over here for you guys. And there you go. So I'm gonna get them posed up and uh, get some up close shots for you. So I've been futzing with this guy and um, he is not sitting in the chair right at all. I mean, I've got like, I can put my thumb under there and his feet still aren't touching the floor. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they got him down here. If I go over here to look at the promo, um, yeah, his feet are on the floor. And here, they're just dangling up in the air. Um, significantly. Again, like, he's not even close to touching the floor. So I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. I'm kind of disappointed right now. I don't know if my chair is too tall or something's not put together right, but I mean, he's not going down. So I'm getting flashbacks of trying to put Emperor Palpatine in this chair. We'll see what we can do. I'm gonna have to figure out something different. The only way I can kind of get him, his feet to actually touch the floor is if he's got some kind of gangster lean in the chair here, which is ridiculous because here he is sitting upright in the chair. And there is no fucking way that that's happening. Now we do the arm holding the club, but his face just doesn't match the intensity of 
like you're about to club somebody to death. In the promo, it does. He looks super angry. But here, he doesn't look like he's about to club somebody to death. I don't know. I want to love him, but I'm starting to fall out of love with him pretty quick. So I'm just gonna have to do some kind of static pose, which is unfortunate. Also, what's unfortunate is, is that uh, their Velcro material for his pants, let's see if I can get that in focus, stops before the waistband. So it doesn't stick there. It looks like he's got his fly open or his, his pants aren't buttoned up, which just look kind of weird. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this now. I know I was super excited just a minute ago, but this thing is kind of going to shit real quick. So here he is in the detolf, and um, I gotta say, like, I'm just kind of what I'm stuck with. It's just a very static pose that I'm not really happy with. This is not what I was wanting. I was wanting to get him for the chair. Uh, again, like, I don't feel like I can use the club because his face doesn't match that intensity like it <clears throat> like the paint app shows on the prototype so this is it this is what like i'm kind of stuck with here i don't know i'm kind of disappointed right now anyway Feel free to like and subscribe and uh, leave any comments. And if you have any ideas on how to modify the chair, I might just take it apart, like dremel it and cut it. Um, anyway, until next time, um, I will uh, talk to you guys later. This kind of sucks.